we need to go to uh why did he say it was now we need to go to one i think it's the mrc Because there's things I think that have been gotten that are important, and then they were kind of just like, well, let's just fucking shove it in here. Mm. Um, so I need to go to, where is it? That's the one. Uh, um, 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 since we, the golden wattle. Ah, I've got a trump of the golden water. Yes. Right, your character's gear has a trump of the ah. golden water. You're oh. in a different body. You ain't got no body. Right. No we go body. somewhere. We go somewhere secluded. Like your car? Sure, that's fine. Okay. Um. And. And yeah. Uh, I shapeshift into Ariel, the redhead stripper. Everybody give me a Sandy <laughs> roll unless you have shapeshifting maxed out as he turns into Ariel, the redheaded stri stripper. You have strange, confused feelings toward him <laughs> as he has a nice rack. I'm inside. Ah, they both say. What's the, what's the over under on that? The D6? Oh my God. I think it's, no, it might be more than that. Hold on. Good. Uh, good, good. Oops. Lose that Sandy because you know Marcus has you, got too much. You guys will get it next out soon. Um, <laughs> this is hello, and now Ariel, the redheaded stripper, go insane. Ah! <coughs> it's it's Max is thirty, but I don't because it used to be. I think eight, it's D six or D eight. One D six. No, what it used to be. I might have changed it though because it went to thirty. Since Max was sixteen, but hold on, it should be in the sure. description now. I will read the description for the ability. Yes. Um, um, ba, 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 ba. I mean, person. becoming a pretty redheaded stripper with a nice rack would it's cause me a lot of sand loss, actually. Uh, Shape shifting. No. This has become new human form. No, it doesn't say it in the actual. Yeah, no, it doesn't. I will, I, we'll go with D6. One slash D six, if you can add that in. Uh, and do you already have your shape shifting maxed out, Matt? Uh, one uh, D six. Shape shifting. Uh, so yeah, from you two. Now the good news is, ah, okay, never mind. I was going to say, if you roll to five or six and then fail your willpower times three and then roll to one on D4, then you're going to beat the fuck out of Ariel the Red Hedge. <laughs> 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 Just no! <"Nope!" laughs> Which would be yeah. a funny kind of justice. So do yeah. you have uh, your, your shape shifting maxed out, Matt? Oh, yeah. Okay. I've done it enough. Would you like to give me an acting role to do the whole, like, look how feminine I am now thing to further enhance their... Pleasure. Sure, I would. I'll do. I'll give you one bet, and I'll do that in a mimicry roll to even sound like a. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Acting. Yep. And mimicry. Really super feminine and shit. No. But... Hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> wow, silent film star, if ever there was one. <laughs> It's, I can see the bulge, man. It's so disturbing on so many levels. Two bulges. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, the lower one. Just in case we come across any more security guards. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it looks like uh, Kinley's exploring his very feminine side. So what are you guys going to do now? So, this, is a, this is a really handy form to have, trust me. Of course. <laughs> uh, if you're a woman with no morals and no kind of like self-respect, then yes, it's completely handy. Well, uh, since we're in 
What's up, girlfriend? Um, <laughs> since we're in <laughs> Cynthia's car, uh, I assume Cynthia is driving, so we're just basically watching the show, I guess. Uh, no, you're you're the only one who knows how to drive. I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. then I'm driving us to where? What? St. Louis was it? Mm -hmm. Oh, hold on. So I've shape shifted back into my body or a body of mine. So do I not have my shit back? No. What? Yeah. Clever. Clever. Take card for being clever. No. I'm sure that's how it worked last time. No. Uh -huh. No, you're 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 hallucinating right now. Nobody's <laughs> ever tried that before, actually. But now you have to. I've done it many times. You have to go to where your, you know, you have to go to where your gear is stored. It's in always fact, stored many, somewhere. Many times that you've run these mods where we come into someone's body, I normally turn into my into another form, just to fuck with things. Well, another form, yes, but I mean, you nobody's done it and said, "Do I have my shit now?" No, uh, it's you know that it's stored somewhere. It's uh, either at the embassy or the bed and breakfast. Those are the usual places you go and find your right. shit after a mission. We drive three hours to listen. Cool. Got two. Uh, oh, give me. Uh, since you two have driven this a uh, lot, you can, and he hasn't yet. Uh, one of you can do a navigate roll plus thirty percent. It's like just take this road to this road. No, this road over here. Oh my God, we're going to die of thirst. Gas station. Gas station. I've already got a check in it. So if you want to get a check in it. Um, I. We'll try just to uh, just to roll it, but I'm very bad. Oh! Oh my go. God! She does there not try to kill you. Okay, you guys drive down to Saint uh, Saint Louis. She gets you all the way to fucking Clems. You're pretty impressed. You park. You you want to double park your car or what? There's no good parking Man. places nearby. It's like eh, you park on a homeless guy or something. Anyway, you guys pile <laughs> out of the car and go over to Clems and Clem. Uh, it's Fortunately, it's close to noon. Clem's like, howdy, what can I do you for? Because you like to make your bust in the morning. That way you got the rest of the day free. Clem's. Hello. Hi. Howdy. What can I do you for? A shave and a hot towel, please. Where are you going back to? Let's go to Burlington 2.0. Them as well? Wait a minute. Cynthia is asking for a shave? Uh-huh. Yeah. I'll ask for the show. Clem goes. Yes. Clem looks too. confused, stops moving, backs back up, goes, Howdy, what can I do you for? <laughs> you know, Hot Clem tick. probably wouldn't have a problem with shaving you. Never mind. <laughs> Hot towel and a shave. Where are you going Both back to? 2.0. Yes, them as well? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Right. Sorry. Yeah. You guys, <laughs> you guys sit down at the uh, uh, barber shop uh, thing. Matthew. Yes. Roll you a roll D a ten for me. What's a D ten now? Yes. Plus. Random Cool. He takes off the hot towels. You guys are in the exact same barber shop. Nice. Shave. He says pulling out straight razor. Yep. Shave. Hot towel. 2.0, yes. Where are you going back to? <laughs> that is well. Yes. <laughs> right, Matthew, roll a d10. I'm holding my breath. Yeah, that'll help. Okay. Last time I was really lucky with this shit. <laughs> right. On a six, you uh, end up in Guri. If you have any magically pocketed items, they go forever and are gone. Wow. We don't have any of our items. Uh, yeah, I think loads yeah. of my shit's just gone. Yeah. Wow. Unless you want to spend the hero point and re-roll at six. Yeah, I'll fucking do that. Okay. God damn. That's why it's really good that you're the one who gets to roll. Nine. Nine. Right. You guys end up in the village. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Is there a cleanse in here? Nope. <laughs> Unless you want to spend the hero point and re-roll at okay. nine. No, we get out. Uh, okay. We get stuff from... Um, they have golf carts the here. Yeah, fine. We get a golf cart. We get a load of gear, um, a load of stuff from the shop, like supplies, canned food. You said there's loads of it last time. Yeah. Get in a golf cart, drive. Oh, um, while we're in the store, I want a sewing kit. Certainly. By the way, when you guys uh, 
appeared. You're all laying in a bed. You're dressed in the appropriate clothing. You all have your appropriate number on and stuff and a hot towel on your face for some fucking reason. Weird. And your number six is residence. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Got a load of so, supplies. Get does that mean I have does that mean I have my gear? No. You've okay. got the cool uh uh jacket thing that they wear there. Okay. Uh get in the golf cart and drive and shadow walk us to Burlington two point nine. Me <laughs> All right, so uh, you're you're doing the shadow walking. He's doing the driving. Mm -hmm. All right, no problem. You you notice that the, this jacket really shows off your breasts well. Nice. If you don't wear a shirt under it, I mean, it's just something for later. Yeah. You know, if you're gonna go dancing or something. You know. Yeah, I yeah. could definitely have it. I know. So anyway, <laughs> right now is the time for your big shadow walk roll, Matt. If you fuck it up, then you're going to be somewhere bad. Ah, Oh. Right. I'm not sure if anything comes off of that now. Uh, there's several things off of that. I don't know if you've got them all or not. I might have them all. Let's check. I need to start a bloody tree for this as well. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Pattern stuff. This is how you go up and stuff here. Now, your choices off of walkthrough, shadowed known location include Hell Ride, Royal Road, Doing the same shit twice a day, or going up the tree to sun's pattern, which I know you've already got. So, yeah, yeah so I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. go small group through shadow. Yeah, that was the next one, was it? No, uh, next one up is sense pattern. Um, oh yeah, okay, so we've got that. But, yeah. So do you have so Howl Ride and Royal Road? No, I haven't got either of those. Which would you like? Uh, let's take Hell Ride. That's the quick and dirty one. It's very dirty. Here's the copy paste for Hell Ride. Hell Ride. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so it actually doesn't even get you to where you wanted to go. It just gets you out of wherever you were to some other shitty place. What does it? Read the description closely. Yeah. No, I haven't I haven't read it yet, so it's all right. It's another power. Oh yeah. Probably would never get used. It, it's, it's a good one if you've only got a five kilometer road. And if you think about it, you'll understand very quickly how useful it is potentially. I will take a look. Okay, cool. Regardless, though, you guys end up in Burlington. Yana, give me a luck roll. Lower is better. Just you, Yana. Nobody else. Well, Just you. Uh, because I'm picking on you. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I care enough to pick on you. So. Perfect. Right. You guys do a quick visit to bed and breakfast and look in the empty wardrobes and glare at Yana. Oh. You know somehow it's all her fault. Uh, should I read all it? No, uh, no, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. We need the things. Um, I'm sure you'd love to play with Clems and dump some more hero points there. Well, mm. it's probably going to be in the embassy then. Wait. You're certain of it. Um, Everything resets in the morning, right? If we go to sleep here, would we wake up here in our own bodies? Oh, good point. When you drove out, uh, when you when he shadow walked you here, actually, the, no, when you first cleansed out, uh, you left behind some very confused people at the original cleanse, and you guys are back in your own bodies. According to what you find in mirrors, that's the only way to find out which body you're in is looking in a mirror. So we're back in our own bodies? You are. Okay. Good. I feel better. Yes, you are now on Stuff Quest, quite literally. Um, Looking for your gear, the big quest for your shit. Should I reroll the luck because I'm quite lucky, so I would probably make it if I reroll. Um, it's up to you. I mean, it, it yeah. just, just means we get to the embassy instead, but that probably means using Clems, which I don't Yeah, let, let's just, let's just, I will try to reroll. 
Go, Yana. Are you spending a hero point on this, Yana? Yeah. Your I gear is nowhere to be seen. It will never come back. <laughs> Bloody roll sometimes, man. Mm -hmm. um... Spend more points. Spend more points. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <gasps> I can't... Yeah, because I can't shadow walk us out. I mean, you. she's only got a 20% chance of getting another fucking failure. What are the odds, right? Yeah, I try one more. Okay. And that was Fuck the last you. you'd oh, ever seen of your gear. Man, look at those rolls. How oh, bad is Freddy? Yeah. I haven't yeah. seen rolls that bad since Freddy, actually. Okay. Uh, so you want to go spend some hero points somewhere else on the Clems instead of uh, having Yana just bailing her way to victory? Or does Yana want to spend just one more hero point? Just do one little. Yeah, it's, you're going for a luck roll full, by the way. It's not at half or any of that kind of crazy. It's at full. So you've got an 80% chance of pulling this off. Just do one a little hit. It's a, it's a very thin weather. Okay, okay one more. Yes, yes. I have lured her into spending another hero point. Have a good GM. Yeah, Your yeah. shit is here. It's in the cabinets. Look, it was here all that time. At least, as uh, suck the hero you, points out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, as we suck the hero points out of Yana's body. Ha ha ha. Cool. I feel validated. All right. So after everybody gets to spend some hero points on Stuff Quest, you all reclaim your gear. Mm. Uh, do you have ridiculous cow armor, Matt? Yes. Are you dressing in it? Yes. You feel mutastic. Yes. <laughs> the cow armor starts moving at him. Will you be staying the night? <laughs> Says a voice from down. Actually, actually, yes. All right. Breakfast is in the morning. Yeah, right. We say hey, Logan. Hmm? Um, when I was you? in the uh, spaceship and uh, got a uh, laser st laser weapons and power armor, did that come back with me, or uh, did that not have stayed there? I don't remember any power armor or laser weapons. Which space? Can you please remind me which spaceship you are thinking of here? We stole it. There's still a lot of spaceships. Can you be more specific? Oh, wait, no. It wasn't you. It was um, Vince GMing that. Ah, no. No. Uh, stuff from guest GM's campaigns normally doesn't. That way the guest GM can do whatever crazy shit they want. Sometimes if it's really minor shit, like, you know, I got a stick or something like that or a smoke grenade, then, you know, sure. Well, we had smoke grenades. Sure, you got an extra smoke I'm, grenade. I'm, I'm joking. Sure. I'm, cool. You're techno. Oh. <laughs> right. Since it's since it's morning time, I grab my stuff. Noon. It's noon oh. currently. Uh, yeah, actually, no. I'm sorry. It's about three p.m. currently. We said we were staying the night. Yes. Oh, cut to next morning. Yeah. You guys yeah. all I wait. Get up. Get dressed. I go running into Yana's room. <laughs> Just to crash the door open. Yeah. <laughs> Analyzing you. <laughs> Give me a fucking strength roll to just smash through like a fucking ball. <laughs> Yana, give me a Sandy roll not to do the really high-pitched scream. <laughs> Sanity roll? Yeah, that's how that's how together with it you are. You're not gonna lose any Sandy. This is just do you do the high-pitched girly scream or do you just open your eye one eye and glare at him or what? Oh, oh yeah. You hear <laughs> <laughs> that's what wakes you up in the morning just so you know marcus you're like i'm awake <laughs> sounds like your buddy's getting killed in the other room i'm sure she'll work it out she's tough come on big analysis yeah oh, wow uh yes it seems to be a uh being of chaos has lodged itself into <laughs> Fuck! Uh, <laughs> what do you do, though? Uh, <laughs> so chaos. you've been Janice all the time. <laughs> Pick a card, you have cracked the mystery, Matt. Uh, She's been secretly working against you for the last three years. <laughs> She's been spying on basically all the PCs. For the actually, one time, I... I meditated, and the information I got is that we are being watched. I right, think it's I, time to try out my trap hand skill. I've got fuck all, so can we play a replenish? 
yes. I'm gonna hit the restroom while you guys do turns. Good luck. Yeah. Alright. Throw away everything you don't want and then I'll put put the replenish on top. Yeah. Um Wow. It's <laughs> <laughs> crazy. God damn. Yeah. Wait, are we all getting a replenish? Uh, yeah, so throw it all. Yeah, everyone who, if you've got any cards you don't want, throw them away. I'm going to do a replenish so we'll all get new cards. So just throw any of your junk stuff you don't want. I got dissemination. Dissemination? Mm. Nice. And... I got murder in the dark. Lovely. Ooh. Uh, Death God. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Opponent fails and magic now. I see how this will go from now. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how does that um, that um, that holdout card go? The oh, one that's dude. holding all the victory cards. Well, um, so lock it in is holding two, and the hold card is holding one. They're both pretty much the kind of same thing, but the lock it in um, will only work for victory cards, where the hold card will do kind of any card you want to keep towards the end of the adventure. But once you've used it, then it's kind of done. You know what I mean? It's it's locked. So that's why we, we take it out of the hand and we put it onto the, the thing. Oh, and so, uh, uh, since that was your card, does that mean only you get to use it? No, no, we'll all get the, the cards at the end of it. We'll all get all the victories. But if I say use the whole card to say hold a different card, then at the end of it, it would still be my card. You know what I mean? Well, we, how about we, this clogging greed card? Okay, that you just want to keep to yourself because unfortunately now we've played those cards, we can't add to it. So once okay. it's played, it's done. But just keep the clogging greed if you can till the end because then you'll, you'll get an extra... Pause. I meditated by half. It's all, it's it's like you're you're looking in the mirror, looking at yourself, and mm -hmm. your your self goes. <laughs> <laughs> That's very much the vision. It's like a hi, that kind of thing. I you so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, and also give me a essence roll. Lower is better. Yeah, just Yana. Just Yana. Of course. As of she, course. By the way, the, the, the only kind of sad thing for Marcus is you guys are having all these big earth shattering revelations, and he's like, Is this neat? <laughs> and you guys are like, Oh, ah, oh, this all I'm, means stuff. No, no, I'm intrigued. I want to get inside her head. Ah. Like literally. Can I open it up? No. Well, I don't think she'll let you trepan her. Yana, with your essence times three, mm -hmm. you have the feeling that you need to be in uh, the basement of the Golden Waddle. Oh. Wow. The, in oh. fact, the, you're thinking that, that that feeling is very specific. Yeah. Why? Why, you don't know. But you it could be because you're yeah. well. My body it, is there. There's a couple of things. There's a your body's there, mm. so you're not whole. Yes. And there's something else I want to do anyway. There, so we better go and pass <laughs> over to the cold <laughs> waddle. You have a right. trunk for the waddle, right? Uh, yeah, we both do. If you want to have a go, by all mm. means, please. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, if he tries to use this, he's probably going to break it. Just so you're aware, because his luck is not in the fucking hundreds. There are, mm, uh, no, I don't know if there were more there actually. Um, it's well, up to you. It's up to you. I, um, I uh, you know, I got to get the skill up anyway. You luck? don't really get a check from using it though. Yeah, well, you, 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 the, the, you get the luck, but you won't get a check in a trump skill because you're just using the trump. You're not making it. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Fuck yeah, that then. A lot of the Trump stuff only comes off of when you're actually making the Trumps rather than just using them. Okay. I'll okay. go to check and then lock some other time. Okay. I will pull out my Trump and attempt to um, go to the Golden Wattle basement. Thank Excellent. you for that. 
Give me, give me a luck roll at full as the R2 latch onto you as you hear footsteps come running up the uh, stairs. Uh, as some very overly excited guy is wondering what the fuck the crashing and screaming was. And you got, he, he bursts through the remnants of the door and he just sees like fading rainbows and he's like, my door! <laughs> right. And as you get there, you hear uh, people chanting, I'm a fire starter, hardworking fire starter, this burning is an eternal flame. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Oh, it's a I, burning fire ring, 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 ring of these fire. These are the keepers of the flame, oh, almighty keepers, keepers of, of the, of the flame. flame. And they are reciting the chant that I taught them, or the first part of it. Nice. <laughs> they keep that. getting taught different 80s songs that deal with fire, and they're blending them together, and eventually they're going to have one fucking incoherent ball of shit. <laughs> So, uh, uh, I would like to expose them to light my fire by the doors. Oh, and not to forget yeah. Ring of Fire. Mm. And it burns, burns, burns the Ring of Fire. The Unfortunately, ring of fire. you're not able to sing, and they're unimpressed with your rendition of uh, the song. Can like pay attention to your Ring of Fire? Uh, as I sing it beautifully, hopefully. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yep. Uh, they will add that to their thing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You guys go in and then, uh, let's see, from Kinley and Marcus, give me minor sanity rolls. Yana, give me a major sanity roll. Oh. And I'll describe oh. stuff. Oh, no. Stuff. Wait, did, oh, you, did you say I do a sanity roll? Yes. Okay. It's against uh, human gore uh, slash gross out for you two. If Kinley, if you've got both of those max, then you go oh, Godzooks or something. Human gore gross out, yeah. Haven't I seen this corpse before? Yana, give me a D10 for failing your sandy roll as you get to see your own body slightly decomposing and missing the heart, which has what? been clearly cut out of the body. Who did this? Who exactly. Did this? Hold on. That, that was... Right. was that was not like that when we last came here, right? Correct. It was wow. like the way I. The oh, last time I was here, the heart was the heart was uh, already taken out. Yeah, well, so we knew. Do that. I have to still make a sanity roll again for this? It's a very it's a very minor sanity roll for you. Nobody uh, told me that somebody stole my heart. That's love for you. Uh, so for you, it's a minor sanity. Oh yeah. You can put one point in either human gore or gross out so you can slowly work on maxing oh, that <laughs> Right. Uh, you are oh such God. you are such a, a tough, hardened bitch, you do not care about yourself. <laughs> you are complete nihilism and you are like this. <laughs> You're like I don't care. Wow. However, no. give me an evidence analysis role anybody who cares too. You, you need to get back in that body because this body you're in is deteriorating. Yeah, but this body doesn't have a heart now. Well, neither well, did not, you before. But... That's not necessarily a bad thing. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you could come back as like undead or something. That'd be cool. What if I just die because this <laughs> body isn't fun functioning? Just uh, one evidence analysis role from Pete. Evidence analysis. Yeah, P, what Kinley just said. Yano, what Kinley just said. What did he say? Yeah, who knows? <laughs> something about undead or something. Oh, oh, before the, before the undead. Before you, the you, undead. You need to get back in the body. Because I will be a cool zombie after. Oh, that's why I liked the zombie last time. You what now? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you got a reasoning again. <laughs> no, nothing. He's a zombie uh, for a bit. Yeah. I just like saw a zombie and liked it. Oh. <laughs> I kissed a zombie and I liked it. Almost. That's a fucked up song, uh, Okay, so we think that I need to go back to the body. Otherwise, it's it obviously not working and is decomposing. Yeah, but like if I go to the decomposing body, it. What if I just die? There's only one way that she might be kept alive from something like that. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at Kinley's thoughts. He's playing Tetris in his mind with ideas. Uh, 
I don't know the Russian national anthem. In well, I don't got, even know if that would work. You've got you've got a very powerful entity mm -hmm. that is harboring in your body, and a shard yeah. of another powerful entity also in your body. Yes. I'm guessing both of those are not going to want you dead. But what if they stay in the old body, in this one? Well, they they came with you to this new body, right? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So maybe when, they were. did you change bodies since you had this? Yeah. Since you, right. So they've come with you. It's attached to your soul, not your body. I would like to point out if there's a powerful entity and another one and her. That's one, <laughs> two. Why is that so many entities? It is, it's her, yeah. yeah. But the funny thing is, it didn't all, oh, because that was the chaos power, wasn't it? Power, step power, pattern picked up her and her. Yeah. So that's the two of them. It didn't pick up the chaos because it's chaos. Uh -huh. Right. So you got, you got three. <laughs> and it's the, what, the three fates, I guess? I guess, yeah. Back and like together. The, yeah. The three forms, the young, old, and middle Mildred. Uh, it's all fucking oh, preludes, wow. isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's all preludes. Wow. It's all... <laughs> it's like all things together. I, 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 I'm wondering if you might actually touch that old body of yours. You might just end existence. <laughs> right. <laughs> Message for you, Matt. I didn't think that was necessarily... That was old, old shit we found out about that. Mm. Oh, the, okay, one of the ah, other guys. Okay. Ah, yeah, sorry. Shit. Yeah, all right. You suck. It's hard fucking keeping up with these It is. It is. Well, as soon as Marcus uh, gets, if, if Marcus yeah. gets to go on it, wait, you haven't been I on know. it. I don't think he's been on it yet. I'm worried about the missing heart because, like, <laughs> if somebody took it, they had some reason to take it. So, like, what? Oh, hollow, hollow victory, by the way. If, if Does anybody have any more victory cards? Luckily, the ones we've got. Are yeah, I was gonna say you're the ones you've already got are all protected. Now, Matt and Yana, give me a give me a memory roll. I I, I know that uh, poor P wasn't around, but you two were. Something. Someone, something, yeah. something orange. I have, something. I have something about a quarter. Yana, if you can tell me, I'll give you a fucking card. But I don't know. It's just like a weird that something. Yana. <laughs> Yada. What? Okay, Yana's definitely got that feeling like there was something like this that happened before, and uh, just as a bigger hint for Matt, so he can go, ah, who? Somebody else lost their heart before, and then there was a whole quest to retrieve the heart or something. Do you remember that? Were you involved in that? I'm not sure if you were. That's why I'm being vague. If you weren't, then it's something to talk to other people about. Someone so this is kind of like a total eclipse of the heart. Take a card. Um, it sounds I familiar, guess. but I don't like don't remember what it was. Perfect. Yeah, I'm not sure if you guys were there. That's why I'm being bad. Yeah, I'm not sure if I was part I of that. It's not ringing. It's yeah. not ringing a bell for me. I'm sure somebody else right now, if they, if uh, the players in the future are listening to this, or will be screaming their heads off. In. Was it because it because I wasn't to do with anything with Pete dying, so I don't know if it was anything to do with that. No. Um, I know there was the jewel, the heart of the jewel, jewel of the heart, or whatever it's called. Jewel of the, judgment. Oh, is that jewel of judgment? No, mm. that's not. That's I don't no. think that was something I was part of. Yeah. No worries. Well, if this was. If this was um, the other day, I could just be vibing in on you and reading your minds again. But apparently, that was a one-day thing. Oh. oh, really? That's a shame. Mm. That was cool. Who could just came here? Like, wouldn't people notice somebody just coming here and taking a heart? Not, not if they were one of us. Right. If it was a Dora, they would have yeah. been like, "Yeah, just coming in." Ooh, spookier. Oh. So the question is, what Dora wants your heart? Yeah. I blame Freddy. Yes. <laughs> take a card, take a card for blaming Freddy immediately. <laughs> it's, the, it's the thing to do. Uh, yeah, it's usually standard operating best. procedure. Yep. Okay. It's, so it now all, we've got yet if he ever tells question. you the story of why and what happened and what why it caused it, you'll be like, that all fits. Uh, mm -hmm. 
So we have a new quest to get Mildred's heart back. Yeah, so many quests right now that the PCs have forgotten uh, what quests that they have, which is yeah. awesome. That's why I keep notes. So we should probably get your body on ice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stop it from decomposing anymore. Yes. That might be a good thing. Yeah. It's still weird that the uh, magic for the suspended animation, but I'm guessing that's because magic failed. Maybe. Or it's not constant anymore, Logan. I have a give look at my body. Give me an analyze magic to try to figure out what could possibly be going wrong with this. First off, <clears throat> let's just observe. Fumble. Ah, he says, right. Uh, you find that there are strong tendrils of magic going from the heart area into P's pocket. He's got your heart. What? Show us up, your pockets. Wait, no, he did the he did the power, not you. Yeah, I was telling you, this is what yeah, I saw. Yeah, he said he's got your heart. <laughs> Show us your pockets. She looks kind of dangerous, actually. It's a little spooky. Yeah, she does. No, I've seen her in action. I, oh, yeah. Yeah. I'd show her my uh, I'm intimidated. All right, I'll uh, pull, uh, pull the ears of the rabbit out there. Okay, yeah, no I, problem. Uh, I detect high magic on her body. And I analyze high magic on her body. Wow. Uh, I don't believe she... Uh, I, it, it's some sort of... Um, there's some there. Yes, and then what it is, it's kind of a uh, residual slow rot type spell where uh, it's supposed to help slow down the rot. I mean, ice would be good too, but um, unfortunately that gives different problems. Essentially, it looks like she's, give me a biology roll, a caribou because nobody is. We like information. Can I tell he's bi biologizing? <laughs> nah, no, no, he doesn't. He doesn't have any uh, flags come up when he yeah. does this. Um, you're thinking that she's probably fucked out of this body unless something extraordinary happens, like uh, you can somehow repair the old body or whatever, because the degradation uh, plus unless you have some cool means of putting in a new heart or know a great heart surgeon, because Fulton's not a heart surgeon, he's a brain surgeon. So if you brought <laughs> him in, he'd probably pop out a brain, wear it on his head like a fucking Davy Crockett hat, because he has been known to do that for oh dear. reasons. Yeah. I have some bad news, Mildred. Wait, Jace. Like what that he has my hat? Your body's <laughs> fucked. <laughs> that's, the that's the technical term us wizards used. Uh -huh. It's fucked. Someone's put some high magic on you, which is slowing the rot. That's nice of them, but someone's removed your heart. That's not good. You're wondering you how long it's been gone before somebody actually noticed, Kinley. You're like, how long has this been like this? Answer, uh, real life sure. weeks. I was here just the other day, and it was there. And the previous time I was here, a couple of days before that, it was not removed. Yeah. Well when done. We Take a card here. for giving good information when, as opposed when we, to when we came here, uh, Bobby. We didn't have. There was no heart. Oh. There was heart. There was a heart. Yeah. It was mm -hmm. whole, but rotten. Oh, maybe like, oh, maybe me. you gave your heart away. Uh, uh, <laughs> no way. Maybe I just fell in love. Aww. Yeah. <laughs> and that oh, shit. literally ripped the heart out of your body. What if, what if your fucking ex came and took your heart? <laughs> That'd be some <laughs> shit. Hey, I have a dissemination card. Is that something I could uh, use? Absolutely. And... Mildred, reduce your hand by one, you horrible person. Yeah, if you've got two cards that are worth keeping, you can move them into another PC's hand if they have the room. And then you can take. Well. I'm keeping my clogging greed, but party escape are um, next larger die size. 
Okay, Parley Escape's not really needed. Um, next larger dice is nice-ish if you can keep it to the end, but otherwise... Okay. Um, Moving on. Okay. I mean, if you've got enough good cards to keep, uh, you could always trade somebody else who has really shitty cards or something. It's all right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's just you guys just stand there looking at the dead body and giggling. Um. So, like, really just like uh, somebody who deals with hearts? Mm. Uh, well, the, the problem also is that uh, even, if, even if you had a big thing of ice within at least a day, maybe two max, then she'd be floating in a pool of cold water, and then after that, it would be tepid, and you know. Well, that that's what minions are for. They keep adding fresh ice and letting the water out. Yeah, ask, ask Matt just how hard it was to get somebody to keep their uh, fucking candles lit so they could trump in here, the and what happened. The keepers from that. of the flame could now become the oh. keepers of fire and ice. Oh. Wow. <laughs> that sounds badass. However, it's very good, but I've got a bit of a problem with that. This we're dealing with a kind of like a really stricken fucking place where like there's nothing left. Like they're eating like oh. like horses for food. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure ice is going to be a you know. Yeah. I, I I don't even know where they would go to get ice. They're in California. They have no tech. They have no magic because what you need is a <laughs> what you need is a water mage. <laughs> 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 Wow. Shall I see what I can cook up here? Uh, wow, did you just suggest cooking your dead body and eating it? I mean, if you're feeling guilty afterwards. I didn't afterwards, suggest eating it. Oh. I merely suggested cooking it. Mm. I will do something for you, Mildred. Yeah. I will channel the power of St. Kinley oh. through your body. <sighs> I'm just going to pump some healing in to see if it does anything. Because <laughs> I'm like that. Is it time for anything? Uh, you're going for magic spells? Let yeah. me find out here. Uh, and is it really St. Kinley or is it St. Patrick? That's right. Yes, it is time three. Right. Restoration. Uh, restore. Let's try that one. Oh, I try harder. <laughs> So, crit! <laughs> right. Uh, let me check on something here. Uh, roll a essence roll lower is better, St. Patrick. I mean, oh my like, god. I'm looking for times one or times two here. Yeah. Times two. Fuck you. All right. The body begins fucking twitching and spasming, and then the, the incision goes. <laughs> And it's just laying there, and it it may uh, it's it's not rotting anymore. Uh, apparently, the power of Saint Patrick compelled it. Ah, nice. What can, what can I say? Thank you. <laughs> that was unexpected. You're thinking, but after looking at the high magic, maybe something from that kicked in and went. Mm. Kicking, so, mm. Mm. I think it's now time to jump back in your body. It might yeah. be somewhat dead, but it's... Uh, it's still got no heart. The heart did not form. It uh, just sealed up the external skin. But that's not bueno. No. Well, you did what you could. I mean, you know. At least it's the decomposing. But, okay, we still need the heart. Sorry. Hmm. Who did this? I want to kill them. You want to kill a lot of people. Yeah. I don't have your heart. Mm, don't you? Don't you? Don't. It shows a heart-shaped bulge in one of his pockets, and he's like, <laughs> "Logan, if she kills me, I'll be upset with you." I oh, know. She, <laughs> you, she, she would search your pockets first, but I think you already said you ear flapped them, so yeah. it's just your hand yeah. is in there, and she's looking at it very suspiciously. And so you take it out, and she looks and goes, "I'm, I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but." Let me just try one more thing okay. as I channel the power of St. Patrick. Okay. Ah! No. The power of St. Patrick has failed you. I push for more. Come, St. Patrick. You can do it. 
Now keep in mind, each time he's losing half of his magic points, so then he sits around for several minutes having a slow, sad wank until he gets enough magic points back. This is good, though. I'm, deep, deep. I'm not digging deep enough because it's not working. Give me a fun. Come on. That's all I'm asking for here. Come on. No. Excellent. He goes, ah, and blood, blood just explodes out of his eyes and ears. He goes, ah, and falls back uh, so dramatically I on the will, floor. I will. I was going to put some that. Ah. Yes. Uh, that's the willpower roll. Shit. You can draw me a card if you want. Yes. God damn it. Give me the exploding head. He falls down dramatically. Ah. Well, St. Patrick's. You know you want to do this. It's in your power. Oh, why was that when I needed it? Uh -huh. Yes! I restoration other and I concentrate on the heart. It's normally for limbs, but we don't yeah. know. It, um, cut two. It shows like some fucking uh, Indian priest guy with a head wrap and he's chanting and staring at the heart and is on fire and then it stops being on fire and goes back to looking good and he goes, Shit. <laughs> <laughs> now, it, it doesn't appear to have any effect on this, but who knows what yeah, strange maybe if we if maybe but maybe it's a way how to put the heart back if he if we found the heart and then do some magic and mm. so well if you want to cut out the fucking uh insurance forms for the doctor i guess maybe so maybe we can just like find the random person cut out their heart put the heart in this body yeah i'm not really sure that's how it works what? <laughs> <laughs> Just some random guy. What a great day to be alive. <laughs> I want your heart. <laughs> you have your own organ donor card filled out. Yeah. I didn't sign it. Doesn't yeah. matter. <laughs> well, how much walking through shadows would we have to do to find another copy of Mildred? That depends. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> This theoretically is a copy of you, right? A younger version of you. The one I'm in now, yeah. Yeah, kind which of. has a working functional heart. <laughs> <laughs> so if I... This could cause you to resurrect. I'm not saying it will. I'm just saying you could be setting yourself up for your third resurrection. <laughs> I'm but... just giving ideas out here. I'm not, yeah. I'm not, you so... know. But how, how would that work? Like, I would need to, like, hmm, jump away from this body so you could take out this heart to, and put it to the old body. It's, it's something I've never done before. So. Yeah. <laughs> In a long it's, list of things. <laughs> I, that, this is not that long. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably one of them, taking out a Apart from a living thing, yeah. putting it in the replica of an older version of the same body, and trying to magically infuse them together. That, that's a yeah. that's a definitely a first for me. You okay. don't do that every day. No, Weird. no I can't can't Sorry. say that I do. <laughs> strange. Um, yeah. yeah, it is a bit strange. Yeah. Do you think that if we like ask people here, they would remember who? was here in the last like few days i might do hey keep of the flames no problem uh sure uh kim you send kinley over to go talk to the uh keepers of the flame and whatnot they get on well with him fortunately and uh right kinley give me a uh, fast talk roll to help them to give up any useful information without resorting to mildred resorting to Mildred. Yeah, sending her over there to ask her way because your way is uh, much nicer. It is, normally is. All right, first talk. Because, you know, this should be pretty easy for you. Yeah, they're like, oh yeah, one of the, one of the, uh, we had a new guy in. I remember it shows like some other guy come in. He's like wearing like a dark robe with a hood over his head. And they're like, who are you? And he's like, I am the new guy. 
They're like, ah, oh, the new guy. Okay. Uh, you want to learn our chants and stuff? I have to go to the restroom. Okay, restroom. I'm going to use the one near Mildred's torture room. They're like, oh, wow. Yeah, we don't go down there. He's like, I'll be right back. And shows him like Darth Vader slow strides down the hall. And they're like, he never came back from the restroom. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just look at it? Shouldn't we like have people here to monitor who goes in and out? Like oh, they're not guards. They just keep the flames lit. That's their job. Do we have guards here? No. Those were the, the do you know what the budget is on guards? Oh. Yeah, I know. Um, he's never thought of guarding it. They're just wow. like, keep the flames lit, god damn it. Really, true story. Right. Um, <laughs> Look at Yana. I don't fucking believe uh, this. Wow. Um, <laughs> Somebody just. Gonna... <laughs> did the guy wearing the cloak? Did you know to notice any coloration on him that was not black? That was maybe blue. Ah, uh, no, no. Uh, he was he was wearing all black. I I remember saying, and it shows like the flashback again. Is that suspicious? Oh no, black goes with everything. Oh yeah. <laughs> was, it, was it a male voice though? Mm, sure, uh, women can't talk that deep. Yeah, but like, it sounded male-ish, yeah? And, and kind of human, mm. I think. I don't know. Didn't sound really human to me. It sounded more like yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, how would you know what non-human sounds like? Well, I've heard uh, elf talk. Yeah, but he can talk like an elf. How do you know? Maybe he's really deep voice elf. I don't think they make elves like that. And they get off on this fucking tangent. It's like dealing with the other PCs. It's horrible. Do you think it was the Joker? I was thinking more possibly Blue Mage. I know. I got a funny feeling that that chaos entity inside you maybe doesn't want you to get back into your real body. Yeah, but why? Maybe because it's... she knows because you she's in you that you guys are trying to thwart what they're mm -hmm. trying to do. Mm -hmm. Which yeah. means saying this around <laughs> you is basically leaking. This is really good. <laughs> oh, this is getting leaked. I can't tell you stuff without telling her stuff. This is great. Have you tried I covering, there, by have the you way. Tried covering uh, her other ears? Oh, by the way, yeah, Chaos Entity inside of Mildred. I really want to do the Logris as well, so... <laughs> Give no, me the story. No, no, I mean, us. make one. Oh. Serve us and we will... Give you the logos. She tells you. That's spooky. <laughs> Is that you or her saying that? Of course, it's me. <laughs> I don't know what I can trust. <laughs> uh, wow. Yana, take a card. Uh, As they just oof. keep getting weirder and weirder. Uh, yeah, I like how I like how her voice mor morphed into the uh, Star Trek computer voice. <laughs> that was a nice touch. <laughs> she doesn't watch Star Trek. Um, She's never even Death seen God? Star Wars. Death, Death God card, anyone? Mm, no. My God. Keep murdering a dog because that's a fucking awesome card. I'm gonna play outdoors person. Uh, survival trapping. Right. One of my survival skills is going to go up. Uh, wow. One of the things, Marcus, that I've really enjoyed about this game is that uh, time definitely, definitely progresses, especially for the poor bastards who don't get to play as much. And so they can find out something and then later it could be completely different because somebody else did something which can be very frustrating for some of them but 
On the other hand, it does give definitely the feeling that the world is moving and changing whether you do something or not, which is something I was never able to achieve when I just had the one standard group back in the day, if you know what I mean. Right. So um, you need to get your heart back there, young lady. Uh, <laughs> I nothing know. I, nothing I can do about it until you do. Okay. Well, but and... you probably want to do something with your body in the meantime so no one else fucks with it. Yeah. Than leaving you. One of the guys goes, I would never. And but the other guys are like, <laughs> the other guys are like, uh, he's the one who, when Freddy left his cow armor in there, he said, I just want to try it on. And he was fucking funny as shit. He was capering around in Freddy's cow armor and stuff, making booing and stuff. And then we got, and he dressed up as a matador. And <laughs> so, but where would we put the body? Oh, don't worry. I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine in the yeah. safe. It's protected by the small green rock. What? The small green rock. What's the small green rock? Oh, you've actually seen it. Because the safe doesn't have a lock on the door because, you know, they hadn't gotten to that part, they use this green colored rock, you're not sure why it's green, to hold the door closed. You had to move it out of the way in order to open the door. That's apparently the best you're able to hire as far as like guards for this place. Great. Yeah, I think. I mean, uh, works, works around the clock, no overtime. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> Talking about that, that's, that's, that's the one thing that I was here for as well, apart from obviously your, your body. Mm -hmm. um, that sounds weird coming out. Uh -huh. I go to the safe, um, I go in the safe, and I take out the really, really small cube. Not the really, really small cube. The really, really small cube. Can you tell me where that's written in my stuff? Um, it will probably be on the, it's, uh, oh no, I have no idea. Oh it's, my God, was, you didn't write it, was, it down? Well, no, I didn't have it. Uh, I was see. told this is where it was at. So this uh, is where. Magic items. It, um, it's under, it's, it's the one with the hole in one end and the sides on it and the BM. It's to do with the BM. It came with the armor. Do you remember the really small cube that, and when you press the buttons and it goes bigger? Mm. You stick a stick something in it, and it gets a temporary little boost. You don't remember any of this? No. Um, really? It's currently Major. missing until I can, unless I can find it. Um, it would be under the uh, BM stuff. Okay, let me look. Well, it may or may not be. Uh, well, we'll look it though. should be because it's to do with him. He has a lot of stuff going on. Let's see. Uh, that's we found there. it with the armor in the place with the picture of uh, McKay, the um, Ogre Major. I'm trying not to give much away here. I don't think you'll run that on people, people on that. I don't think I'm going to run that either. Uh, Ogre Major in the tunnel. We found the armor, which was bigger than normal. Oh, oh, I know about the Ogre Magi. I have no idea where that shit is. The cube was, I don't, you did, I, well, I don't think you ever gave us a, a designation for it. 